What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. All right. (laughs) When I heard this, I was absolutely appalled, but it would not surprise me if this is the route that Hotel Arion's baby wife Holt is going to try to take to put himself in some light where he seems like he has some redeemable qualities, but I just absolutely am not buying it. Now, I was listening to my girl True T when I was multitasking as I always am, and I heard her say and relay some information that one of her subscribers shared with her with regards to Arion's baby wife allegedly being spotted with T.S. Madison. Now, when I heard this information, I was just sitting there shaking my head and I said, you have got to be kidding me. Again, I was appalled, but not surprised because the, the nigga is grasping at straws at this point. He really believes that he is a star and really believes that he is deserving of being in the spotlight. This is the thing that is horrible about some people when they get that taste of recognition or what they think is fame. He's not famous, not by any stretch of the imagination, but he is a reality TV personality. We can't take that away from him, but he's definitely not a celebrity. He's not a star and he's not famous. Is he deserving to be on the show and having this platform? Absolutely not. You could have an Instagram account all day, every day, as long as Meta doesn't take it down and strike you for whatever their reasons may be, violating their community guidelines or whatever those things may be. But to be on a television show continuing at this point in time, I think is utterly disgusting. But what's even more disgusting, or maybe not even more, but equally and highly offensive, is that if he is indeed linking up with T.S. Madison of all LGBTQIA personalities in that genre that are seen as celebrities, I think it's trash. And if I was T.S. Madison, I would absolutely run away. T.S. Madison, her rise to recognition and the fame that she does have, she she's worked for that. Hotel has not worked for anything. And why it's even more offensive is the fact that he was the one that put it out there that he did not feel comfortable with his four children, with his children being around Melody's brother, who is their uncle, not a play uncle, not a play play, you know, relative or anything like that, not one of Melody's good Judy's or somebody that does her hair from time to time that happens to be in the LGBTQ community that she feels comfortable and safe with and would trust her children around because I'm not even saying anything negative about that if that is indeed something that were to happen but because Melody's brother is in that community that is the reason why he did not want his children around their uncle. Now, he didn't flat out say those words, but we already know what it is. It wasn't like her brother had served time in the prison system and he had ever been up on charges for pedophile, and you know what that means, of any way, shape, or form. And this man is way more professional and educated than Hotel could ever be in however many years he will be allowed to live on this planet. So to link up with T.S. Madison, who has gotten to the point where she is a regular on RuPaul's Drag Race, ask me how I know, because I watch it all the time. I've been watching it since season one. And T.S. Madison is a regular guest on the host judge panel. So to link up with Hotel... I think it's not a good move for T.S. Madison. I would not allow 
my recognition and the things that I have worked to achieve to have this negative light shown on me by linking up with Hotel. It's all these guys on the show, especially in that main core group of six, the husbands and now ex-husband, they're all, in my personal opinion, opportunists and low-key trash. Like, I just don't see it for any of them. And so to link up with T.S. Madison, if this is indeed the truth, I just think it's horrible. But if it is indeed the truth, why I said I wouldn't be surprised is because who would have something to do with that? Carlos King. Do you really believe that there would be anyone else in the industry that would be able to link him up with T.S. Madison but Carlos King? In my opinion... I just feel that Carlos King is a DV sympathizer. And that's sad because he often talks about his mother who passed away of breast cancer. And so to not relate with women even more, to look up for their needs and to be protective of women, I just think it's disgusting. He's shown, in my personal opinion, that that's not something that he is interested in especially by continuing to allow this fool to be on the show. But Carlos is all about the money. And this is, this is his biggest cash. Well, not biggest. (laughs) In terms of television, it's his biggest cash cow. His biggest thing now is blogging, which he doesn't want to label himself as a blogger because he feels like that is beneath him, even though he has linked up with bloggers by the likes of DJ Richie Sky, Funky Dineva, you know, over the years. Now, Dustin Ross, you know, and honestly, I believe my personal opinion, Sherelle's world. That's my personal opinion. Even though Sherelle's world has come out to kind of blast Carlos in a way, I definitely believe that Carlos probably has her phone number and she has his and they could talk like normal, but it wouldn't, it's already not popular, but it would look even worse if people saw Carlos and Sherelle as friends and her now saying that she is a Martello meter. You know, you get my drift? So that's why, to me, this all smells like funkiness of the Carlos Kingdom rain, raindrop <laughs> scenario of something that he cooked up to try to help his image. Because let's be clear, Hollywood, even though they're not technically Hollywood, but you get my drift, that's what dominates that community. You know what I mean? You have to be in, not, I wouldn't even say really in with them, but you definitely cannot be someone who is on the outs with them and think that you're going to make it in the industry. So in my personal opinion, I feel like Carlos is the one that connected this and hooked this up to help reverse and change his, his image. And I'm going to talk more about that in a different um in a different podcast because I don't want to make this one too long. But when I heard about this, I said, you have got to be kidding me right now. T.S. Madison, girl, retreat. Run, run, run. Or in the words of Phaedra. Please, go away from me with this. Anyway, guys, if this is indeed true, you let me know what you think about it. Who do you think is the one, if this is true, orchestrated this connection to try to help Arion's baby wife's image in the public eye. I'm just disgusted by it. So you can let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bye.